the Holy Prophet وسلم, in his statements upon this he stated that every illness, difficulty, problem, worry, um, tragedy, illnesses, problems, calamities in the dunya worldly issues and there are so many problems problems with children problem with regards to wealth problems with regards to business problems with regards to having offspring relationships colleagues friendships issues yes ajeeb and weird illnesses unique illnesses and today they were passing through such a time that all of that we can see we're all surrounded by this adab so Allah's Nabi sallallahu alaihi has told us one cure and what was that astighfar the abundance of astighfar in the presence of Allah to ask Allah to forgive us to repent the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's blessed habit that he demonstrated to us was that in one sitting, 70 times over, astaghfar, he would recite. And the blessed habit of the Prophet ﷺ was such, 100 times over he'd do astaghfar. When you do true repentance, what is that? Compared to just reciting true tawbah, true repentance is when a person does true repentance after that. When he recites this kalima, then subhanallah, then you see the effects of that. That's when it becomes a repetition. For example, when a person does tawbah to Allah, repents, what is tawbah? Nowadays, um, we are passing through difficult times. and We maybe do astaghfirullah, tasbih, and brothers, listen. This will not give us success. This will not give us success. Rather, tawbah, repentance, istighfar, it means that first and foremost, the human being needs to identify his sins. You need three things to do tawbah, istighfar. Three things. Three steps along with which the person's tawbah is accepted. The first step in tawbah is that in the presence of Allah, we need to present ourselves fully. Yes, understand we're in the court of Allah. And... We need to be extremely remorseful regarding our sins. I do this sin, I do this sin, I do this sin. No need to hide from Allah. Allah knows everything. I've done this, Allah, I've done this, I do this as well, Allah, do this as well. That uh, things are hidden from the world that we do, which are sins, but Allah knows them, doesn't He? So to accept in front of Allah, be so ashamed, Allah, I've committed sins, Allah, I regret this, I have remorse, feeling Allah, I shouldn't have done this. Then after that, what to do the next, next step? First identify, accept the sins, then that sins, those sins that we do, that we commit, say to Allah, Allah, Allah Ta'ala, I will immediately shun those sins. That's condition two. Step two. Allah, immediately I will leave these sins. Not pending, I'll try. I'll do this and that. Person came to me for tawbah, repentance. And I'll tell you the tariqah as well after that there are two types of tawbah. Yeah, so and and it was quite a big gathering and it took about half an hour, 30 minutes. He said, I want to do tawbah. I said, come. I said, fine, do these. Will you keep the beard? Uh, I'll try. Okay. They said, you will have to say to Allah that I will keep the beard. You have to leave the sin, then your tawbah will be accepted. Then he stepped back. I said, have a think. Fine. He said, uh, okay, fine, I'll do tawbah. I said, okay, come. Then he came again. I said, okay, speak. Inshallah, I'll keep the beard. He said, inshallah, I'll try to keep the beard. In other words, 30 minutes, you can imagine that this happened with me. The whole gathering was there, there was a masjid. Then he stepped back, then he thought, he said, okay, I'll do tawbah. I said, okay, come, he came. Then he said again the same thing. Eventually, after 30 minutes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, made it easy for me and for him. And he said that I will keep the beard from today, subhanallah. So he had the regret over that sin. And then he promised that... I will leave the sin. 
That's tawbah, I'm telling you that the Qur'an is prescribed to us. That everything it finishes at that time, your past actions and the biggest disease, calamity disappears. Because tawbah is a wazifa. It's a physical prescription. Today what's happening around us is nothing, zero. Very easy it become for us to control this. You understand? That uh, Allah's rahmah, mercy will envelop that home where tawbah is uh, implemented. That home where this tawbah takes place. For sure, 100% the Qur'an guarantees. Look about Corona, even Corona's father cannot arrive to that home. Even his father cannot arrive to that home. If we do it correctly. So first step one, we should be ashamed, regret. Number two, is to accept that sin and to reject it. That this is stopped from today, from today, I throw these sins away. Singing music, finish from today. Because these actions, by implementing these sins, what happens? Allahu Akbar, think, what a massive, how Allah's grabbed Allah Ta'ala grabs a person when there's a disease, when a person dies, they grab him and throw him away to the side. People don't even know where he is. He's disappeared. And how people are dying. And Allah Ta'ala says that I'll give you a chance, I'll give you a chance. So regret, we have remorse, and immediately to identify that sin, have a shame for it, and shun it. Not play games. I said to you, 30 minutes, he came and went, came and went, came and went. The third action, Subhanallah. Third action we need to do is that after today I will not commit the sin again. Say Subhanallah, Subhanallah. When these three things come together, step one, identify the sins to, uh, with the regret and shame. Number two, immediately I leave the sin. This guy pick up these sins and throw them away. These these resources that commit uh, commit sins, the the tools that I use to shave and cut the beard, pack them and throw them outside. Throw them just like the women when they don't do uh, don't observe parda immediate tawbah. This is tawbah. Don't play games with Allah. Number three, if, uh, from today I will not do this. And you say, oh no, I'm going to do the sin again, it'll be difficult for me. What if I commit again? What if I repeat it again? I'm so used to it. Then subhanAllah, Allah's rahmah, mercy. For that Allah says, then this is the wazifa. Then the day, we say astaghfirullah 100 times. If you commit the sin, I'll continue.